March is Mental Health Awareness Month. So this morning we're going to talk about your therapy options with our good friend and local psychologist, Dr. Amy Beth Tobley, who is back in our studio. Good morning. Hi. Happy spring. And I'm it happy sure to say is. that. So it sure is. <laughs> Dr. T, uh, we also want to let people know that you have invited them to call. So if you have questions or calls about what we're going to talk about, by all means, join us at 644-9840, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'd love to hear from people. Okay. So you know that. So the phones are open. Should we start with when is therapy needed? Sure. Okay. And you know, sometimes therapy is needed even when it's not needed. What I mean by that is things do not have to be going horribly in mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be chronically depressed or anxious or fearful. Sometimes because life is what it is, mm -hmm. whether we're talking about family, whether we're talking about what's going on in the job, the list is endless, as you know. Sometimes it's useful mm -hmm. to spend one or two sessions talking with someone, just running things by and mm -hmm. saying, what do you think? Mm -hmm. And what you can get from a therapist is very different from what you can get from a dear friend or a family member because the therapist is going to be objective. Mm -hmm. And at times, you know, should I stay with him? Should I dump him? What's happening with my kid? Is there something wrong here? There's this man at work who keeps getting under my skin. What do I do? Sometimes therapy is good even when it's not necessary. Okay. When is it necessary? Mm -hmm. If you feel as if you are not functioning the way you would like to be. And most of the time, you are the best judge because you know how you feel. Mm -hmm. You know what is quote unquote normal for you. Right. So if you can say, it's been too long. I've tried all the gimmicky stuff. I've read the self-help books. I've watched Dr. Phil. It's still not <laughs> working for me. You were reading my mind. <laughs> it's still not working for me then it's time. Yeah. The main question that people ask me a lot, besides who do I go to, has to do with payment. And you know, we can say it's a shame, but it's a reality. Most insurances will cover therapy to some extent. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say to some extent is even within the same insurance company, mm -hmm. There are many, many, many different plans. So what you want to do is call your insurance company and ask them a couple questions. First, you ask them, do I need a referral? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. For mental health. Mm -hmm. Then you ask them, do I have a high deductible plan? Mm -hmm. What that means is some people have to spend a certain amount of money before insurance covers anything. Right. And then you ask, do I have a copay? Mm -hmm. After that, you give them the name of who you want to see and take it from there. All right, we do have a phone call standing Good. by. That's great. Good morning. Welcome to the show. You're on with Dr. Tobleib. Hi, this is Pat from Sanborn. Hi, Pat. Hi. Um, I would like to know how to deal with extensive family grief. Okay. Uh, people say you'll get over it. You don't mm -hmm. get over it. That's a very good question. And I don't want to say what people say, but eventually people do get over it. But the key word here is eventually. Mm -hmm. And grief cannot and should not be rushed and cannot and should not be put on a timeline. For the individuals experiencing grief, you go at your own pace. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this mm -hmm. a couple times on the show. Yep. What you don't want to do is rush yourself. What you don't want to do is force yourself to do stuff you don't want to do. And finally, give yourself a break. Don't fall into the trap. It's been a year. I should be over this. It's been two years. This shouldn't be bothering me. people who say that to you. Don't let it in. Yeah. Don't listen to it. Mm -hmm. Grief is so individual for everyone. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's common, and I was just talking about this last night, the only thing that people have in common 
it is the most difficult thing you will ever go through. Mm -hmm. So remember that and allow yourself the time you need. That is so such good advice. I also wanted to ask you before we run out of time, how do you know who to go and see? I've seen people listed as mental health counselors, psychologists, psychiatrists. How do you know? It depends. Psychiatrists prescribe medication. Some will do therapy. Most of the psychiatrists in the Western New York area do not do a lot of therapy. There are exceptions. Mm -hmm. Most work by using medication. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in therapy, you have the option of a psychologist, a mental health counselor, a social worker, or someone who just calls themselves a therapist. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that there is not one that's better than the other, mm -hmm. but for heaven's sakes, do not go through the phone book. 